Boys and girls, welcome, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin Chase, if you guys are new here. And today we are going to get into this really powdery, soft, Kylie Jenner inspired blushy look. Um, I really wanted to go to McDonald's and get their chocolate chip cookies because I just tried them for the first time today and they are so freaking good, out of this world bomb. And I was like, no, you cannot go get cookies. You're going to Cabo and you're going to Coachella right around the corner. You cannot do it. So instead, we are going to do this tutorial. We are going to get through it together. And if you guys are at home eating cookies, please have an extra one for me because I love them. Chocolate chip is my favorite in the entire world. So if you guys are at home, grab some snacks, sit with me, hang with me. Let's get into this tutorial because this is my favorite look right now. I've been wearing this non-stop. I know this is a long intro, but I just need you to know how much I love this freaking makeup. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Let's get into this tutorial. Let's get into this makeup. I love you guys. This is the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. So I'm working this into my pores wherever I just have like problems with pores, which is basically my entire face, but I'm like really working it into the skin. Prior to putting this primer on, I did use a little bit of the La Mer cream. Um, <laughs> I know it's bougie. I know. I know. And I don't think I'm going to buy it again. It is so expensive. I don't see myself like being okay with spending that until I have like Kim K money, which is going to be like never. And so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. If you are at home prepping your skin, prep your skin with a moisturizer that you love, something that's nice and emollient that'll like really get into your skin. Um, does not have to be La Mer, does not have to be bougie. Before we go on, I should probably mention that my brows are already done, you guys know this, and I have got some lip balm on because there is nothing worse than getting to the lips at the very end and then being like crusty and dry. Not cute, no, we don't like that. So hydrate your lips and get your brows on your face and then get that primer on. So for foundation, I'm gonna go with Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my holy grail foundation. Urban Decay, sponsor me someday, please, for the love of God. I literally have spent so much money on Urban K All Nighter foundations over the past few years. Like there is, I just, I love this stuff so much. It is a full coverage foundation. It is like that poreless, dollless, just, oh God, I love this foundation so much. Normally I'm a 3.5, but since I don't have any self tanner on right now, I am whiter than ghost. So I'm going to be 3.25, which is probably going to be a little bit darker than it should be. But don't you dare sit at home and complain to me about how my foundation doesn't match because honey, I'm sure yours does not either. Hello. There is no foundation that is ever going to perfectly match your skin tone. So let's just like give it up on the whole like matching foundation. Do you. Do whatever. But I'm going to go in with 3.25. I'm going to just put it on the back of my hand. I always just put like two and a half pumps on the back of my hand. And then I like to work it onto my face. So we're going to Coachella and Cabo within two weeks of each other. So. April's going to be a very, very busy month. My best friend and her boyfriend are coming in March. And then, yeah, so the next couple months is so busy. I'm so excited. But yeah, so that's why I can't be eating cookies. So if you're at home and you're eating them, please enjoy one for me because I seriously love a good chocolate chip cookie. You really want to focus on complexion. A full coverage matte base is essential to get this like Kylie Jenner matte kind of airbrushed look. Spend time really pressing it into the skin. Go over it three, four, five thousand times if you want to. If you're in a hurry, don't worry about it. Like one layer is fine, but really make sure around your nose and under your eye you're pressing in. And then if you get creasing right through here like I do, then take your beauty blender and like twist it a little bit to get that product in those creases. And just gently but like firmly press it. If there is one thing in makeup that like I love the most it is like a beautiful flawless complexion so um, if you guys ever have questions about how to get like a super awesome base or if that's something that you guys want me to go into more detail in um, please let me know because I really love it so I would love to teach you guys how to do more complexion based stuff if that's something you're interested in so just let me know in the comments so for concealer we're going to use full cover by makeup forever this is the most full coverage concealer you will find Tarte shape tape has nothing on makeup forever's full cover um, and since it is so full coverage um, and it is drier than the average concealer um, I like to just take a little bit put it on the back of my hand kind of like warm it up with my finger just so that it has a little bit more glide to it I like to use my finger and just use patting motions and I like to go up the bridge of my nose 
and then I don't like to go all the way up to my eye. I like to go where the dark circles kind of meet so that we can kind of blend the colors. So I just go right there and bring it out. I find that my cheeks look more sculpted when I bring concealer all the way up here. It kind of like creates a highlight there, so I like to do that as well. And I like to do, when it comes to concealer, as much of it as I can with my finger, and then I like to finish it off with my beauty blender. I'm just blending out the edges right now and making sure that it gets in the creases. When it comes to doing the sides of your nose, I really like to make sure that I am like pulling my lip down and like getting in the crevices and stuff. The skin around your eyes is very, very delicate, so I don't want to be doing like any pressure at all around that area, so just a nice, delicate touch. And I'm really just tapping and kind of feathering out the product. On my inner corner, I don't want to get any weird streaks, so I'm just like really like pressing the product in. My skin is literally already looking so flawless, so flawless. The light kind of hits my nose in this kind of like an upside down T. Oh, so I'm going to do that because it kind of like makes my nose look a little bit more buttony. And then I like to go like one finger up where the bridge starts. Try and get this line as straight as you possibly can. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder. This is just the translucent one. Do not go in with translucent glow or you will turn your skin into a full cake fest. Believe me, I have done it and it does not look cute. And I'm going to take a little bit on my beauty blender. I'm just pressing this into my skin, which if you have pores on the sides of your nose, this is a great time to like get your little tip and really work it into those pores that you find are like a problem area. If at the stage you feel like the rest of your face isn't fully set, just take a little bit of what's left over on your beauty blender and just press it into your skin, wherever you feel like you need it. To contour, I'm using Hoola Light. I love this. I'm just going to use this one. It's just like a nice fluffy blush brush. I really like to look straight on and then look and see where my cheek naturally wants to go. And so mine wants to like, the contour should really be here. When you're contouring, like, you're not gonna wanna like be doing or whatever, you know, just like relax your face because people aren't going to see you with like a fish face. They're gonna see you just relaxed. So if you want it to look the best, that's the way to go. I like to tap and then feather it upwards. Up. I don't really like a really sharp line here. I feel like it looks like makeup and I want it to look like as soft and natural as possible even though you know <laughs> you know it's not natural. It's natural. Once we get into the cheek fat, like right here, I really like to kind of go forward and I'm not picking up any more product and doing this area. I'm just using whatever's left on my brush. Dipping the entire brush into the Hoola Light and I am going to use it to contour my forehead. Let's snatch the forehead because, hello, I have like a five head. It is not cute. So if you guys think that I don't FaceTime, Facetune my forehead in Instagram photos, think again. I always do some, like, not all the time. Okay, not all the time. Just every once in a while, I'm like, ooh, let's make that hairline just like dee, 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 dee. exposing myself. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but whatever, I'm not trying to hide. I'm not trying to hide my enormous large forehead. It's not like it, it's like the easiest thing to hide anyways. So, when it comes to the forehead, go ham, do whatever you want. Hula Light is so soft that like it's not going to be that big of a deal if you pick up a little too much. Um, I mean, unless you're like extremely white, then like maybe just like slow down. I'm tapping behind the arch, working it into the hairline. There's nothing worse than not fully pushing it into your hairline and then having like this white line. <laughs> you guys, I have done it before. Don't feel bad if you are doing that at home right now. Like, don't worry. Tap behind the arch and then kind of like work it up. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of baking down here so that my cheeks are like nice and cute and soft, you know? So I like to take quite a bit here. My cheeks like to kind of like go, hmm? So I like to follow that line. I like to do this because when you swipe it away, it kind of has this like really nice soft highlight to it and doesn't create any super harsh lines, but it does clean it up a little bit. I'm just going in with Hula Light and I'm going to use it to sculpt out my eye. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm going above and just doing this directly on the brow bone, working it in to my nose and working it up into my brow just so that it's really cohesive. I like to, at the end of my eye, really swipe it in to my forehead contour. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and then go into my nose contour just drag it down very very lightly work it into my brow there's nothing 
that makes me personally feel better than like just like glowing great skin like there's just something about having like really great skin that makes you feel very confident when I was younger and I still have very sensitive skin but I have learned to kind of treat it nicely and I've learned what triggers it what doesn't waxing is a big thing that irritates my skin um, because you're taking off those like first couple layers of skin but I mean ugh, a good wax looks so good oh by the way I'm taking my cosmetics fluffy brush and I'm just swiping away the product on the very top and we're going to do blush but yeah so I have had my fair share of skin issues and so I feel you guys if you guys have questions about skin please let me know I'm very passionate about skincare um, we're going to go in with the blushing in Bali palette for blush I freaking love this light pink blush it is like the Givenchy one okay 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 now I know that the palette is trash but because I broke the highlighter because I'm very yeah anyways so this one this like pinky baby pink blush is so beautiful you guys it reminds me of the Givenchy prism blush but this palette was maybe 10 15 dollars the Givenchy prism was like 30 bucks for a small teeny little thing highly 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 recommend okay i'm going to really dip this same dome brush that i used for my contour i'm i'm not a big like you have to switch brushes for everything if you're using it like just use the same brush you contoured with unless you were using a super dark contour <laughs> unless you're using a super dark contour so i'm just taking my blush on this brush and i am just pressing it into my skin focusing on the apples of my cheeks first Kylie likes to take her blush all the way up put it like right where you put your concealer like go in girl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at this point go ahead and wipe away any of that highlight product that we put on earlier that translucent powder and then I'm taking a little bit on my finger just like a dab I'm going to bring it across my nose just so that it has like this nice natural to it you know to pull in a little bit more color, I'm going to go in with this middle kind of pinky shade. It's like a peach shade. It's almost exactly like the Patrick Ta. This one looks a little bit more peachy. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that, and I'm just going to keep that in the center. Oh, she cute. We look radiant. We look fabulous. Yes. Okay. You look fire. You look like a little baby. Okay, and then I like to work it into my blush so that it's not like we have crazy pink cheeks and like everyone's like, whoa, <laughs> what? Who is she? Who is that radiant gal? Ew, I said gal. This is for sure white, I know it. <gasps> this is a black eyeliner. Yes. Okay, so we are going to use Epic Wear by NYX. This liquid liner is fire. Okay, it is bomb. First I'm going to draw the end. I'm disappointed in myself. Whatever, this is a one take wonder. We good, we good, we good, we go fine. So in high school, I was in cheer. Um, it was like my whole life. I was very, I had like a very intense hot few high school years. Um, and like cheer just like became everything to me. Like I really, really, really loved it. Um, and I used to do my makeup and everyone's makeup for our games and for any of our competitions or anything like that. And oh my god, like looking back, I'm like, that was so much blush, that was so much eyeliner, no brows. <laughs> like it was so bad. Um, but we were always like, oh my god, we look so good. Like I think I remember someone was like, Kaylin goes ham in the blush. Like I was known for like wearing like too much blush like and I don't even know if contouring was in at that point like I'm sure that it, like I think it was like ever so slightly no it was and like baking had just begun yeah let's have a moment of silence for my horrible makeup days mm -hmm. yeah okay just taking hula light dragging it across my brow bone working it into my eyebrow 
So my eyeliner is still drying. I'm a little nervous to touch it, but we are going to go in with some Ardell 421s in the meantime. Um, I really like these. They're just like nice, wispy lashes. But if you're um, at Ulta and you want some others, Muse by Kiss, Bomb, um, Miami. Um, I personally like Miami's more than Miami Flare because they're more for like the rounded eye. For my lashes, I'm using Lashtopia by Bare Minerals. I love this mascara. Oh, hold on. There's a fuzzy in my eye. So do you guys have any like spring plans that you guys are doing? Are you guys going to Coachella? If you guys have gone to Coachella, I've never been. So I would love to get some tips on like how to survive. One, two, what to eat, what to wear. I have like some cute ideas. I'm thinking like lots of fringe, maybe some zoimans. If you guys want to see a vlog of Coachella or like the outfits that I'm going to be wearing or anything, like let me know because I've never been. So I'm very, very excited. So we've got those top lashes on and now we're going to get started on the bottom lashes. First, I'm going to take a little bit of Hoola Light on my 216 brush and I'm just going to smudge out the bottom a little bit. I like doing this because it also helps with creasing under your eyes. And I like going pretty far down, so don't feel like this has to be precise at all. I want to add a little bit of flair to this look, so I'm going to take a little bit of this clear lash glue, and I'm going to place it right here in the center. To pick up your gem, you can take a, like, a really creamy lip pencil and use it as like your little applicator. I find that that works best. And then like you can barely see it, like most people are not going to see this super tiny gem. But it kind of just like adds a little tiny flare, a little bit of like a, a little glam element. Um, but, but yeah, okay, so now before we get on to the lips, I do want to put on a little bit more blush. And throughout the day, this is also a tip, um, I like to take my beauty blender, dip it into the blush, and like straight up press it into my skin. I feel like I get way more pigment on this side when you press it in. Um, and blush is like the first thing to go on your makeup when you're ever doing it so if you put on a little bit too much blush like don't even stress because it's the first thing to go so not to worry or if you're getting a little oily up here or on your nose or something take a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder or any translucent powder that you have at home and just like blot it just like lightly press it into your skin and it'll soak up those oils so don't even stress I'm taking that same lip pencil that I used to press my gems on this is two and take a oh uh. my bad so I like to go just a hair over in the center. I like to go just a little bit below, kind of where that shadow wants to hang, which is literally like right there. Then I'm just gonna take this and use it to create a gradient on my lip. I like to kind of stay within those kind of like smaller areas and leave like the gradient nice and light in the center where my lips are the juiciest. This is my Morphe 167, and I'm just using it to blend out all of that lip liner. For the center, this is like the lip that I've been doing non-stop lately. I've been using 1.5 in KKW. Let me double check. Yeah, 1.5 in KKW. I love this lipstick so much. I just press it into the center, and then I dab it on the inside of my lip. I like to make sure I go over the lip line on the centers. And then I either take my finger or I take my brush. Lately, I've been really into using a brush. And I just use it to blend the two together. And I'm just like tapping, just using like patting motions to blend these together. Last thing we need to do is set all of this makeup in place. I'm just going to use the Mario Badescu. This is just their um, rose water one. I actually am not a huge fan of this one. I just can't find my Hydrating Milky Mist by Pixie Beauty. But that one is my all-time favorite. But I'm just going to use this one for today. I like doing this because it blends all of the powders and all the liquids that we just put on our skin and we just put on a lot of powder. So this kind of blends it all together and gives you this like nice refreshed look. I literally wore this makeup last week um, under huge bright lights from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and my makeup did not budge. The only thing I would do to touch up my makeup is just to like dab it right here on my forehead, maybe on my cheeks. I would um, put a little bit of blush on throughout the day just because blush is the first thing to come off on your makeup. Um, and that is literally it. Like, I didn't have to touch up 
anything. My skin looked flawless all day long. I hope if you are looking for Kylie Jenner's like signature pink blush look, this is a good one for you. This is something that you like. If you feel like you have really dry skin, carry a little rose water or carry a little mist with you. And just like mist your face every now and then and like you should be good to go. But definitely, regardless if you have oily or dry skin, make sure you hydrate your skin. Make sure that when you're done with this makeup, you double cleanse. Please double cleanse. If you guys want a video on that, let me know in the comments. Don't forget in the comments, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in 2020. If you guys want to find me on Instagram, I have changed my Instagram handle from at K to my name. It's at Kaylin Chase on Instagram. So until next time, I have nothing else to say other than, oh my God, wait, subscribe. Subscribe if you like my videos. If not, thank you for the airtime anyways. Um, and until next time, mwah, bye beauties.